had a dream once. Our world had ended. Vampires had taken over. And I was the only one that could stop them. So season four of Van Helsing ended at a real low point. Is everything lost or will Vanessa and the others still save the day? We have no idea, but we will soon know since season five is just about here. Most shows end with a good ending, but Van Helsing is dark. So will this show end with a dark ending? Until we know, we can only speculate and make deductions from what we know thus far. We wanted to give you a heads up, so we went searching and came up with the following video. This is Van Helsing season five rumors and everything we know so far. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. What is Van Helsing? Van Helsing centers on Vanessa Helsing, the daughter of famous vampire hunter and Dracula nemesis Abraham Van Helsing. She is resurrected five years into the future to find out that vampires have taken over the world and that she possesses unique power over them. She is humanity's last hope to end an offensive to take back what has been lost. If you have watched the fourth season, you will know that Vanessa is also the daughter of Dracula. She is, however, good, unlike Sam, who became evil and even looked like he was going to be Dracula at some stage. What has happened so far? The story follows Vanessa Helsink, who woke up from a coma into a post-apocalyptic world. She becomes the arc target of vampires who have the upper hand in the world during this time. Her unique blood has something mysterious, which can make a vampire turn human. Vanessa gets her sister back, who is now with some other survivors. The series series follows her quest of saving humanity. With each successive season, there are new additions to the cast, and the plot becomes more intricate. Jonathan Lloyd Walker took over from Neil LaBoot as the showrunner of Van Helsing at the time of season 4. Fans are expecting a hit end to the series, and Walker seems confident in his work. The series does have a common theme, but the plot is fairly unique. In season 4, Vanessa is trapped in the other realm where Dracula came from. She's trapped in a coffin within a half of coffins. We also know that her daughter Jack is trapped in another coffin. Their only hope is probably Jacob Van Helsing, who is also in that realm, but more about that later. The Dark One has escaped by using Jack's body as a vessel. Violet can say nothing because when they return, she is unconscious. Jack is trusted by President Archer, and Dracula uses that trust to take over Archer's body. Jack is left in the coffin, while Dracula continues on her merry way. So Dracula has taken over the body of the President of the United States, and last we saw her flying out to the safe zone, where there are millions of uninformed infected people. Dracula must really be looking forward to that. All that blood to drink. In the final scene, Ivory and Violet actually try to stop the helicopter with Archer in it from taking off, but their attempt fails and they are actually shot by Marines as well. Dracula inside Archer's body is on her way to the safe zone, presumably. Release date. It's official. The release date of Van Helsing Season 5 is on Friday 15th, April 2021. So by the 17th, most of us will be waiting for Season 6, which apparently is not going to happen. That of course does not mean there will be no spin-offs of the series. Season 5 cast. Van Helsing Season 5 will include new cast members. They are Kim Coates, Sons of Anarchy, Ali Liebert, Bomb Girls, and Steve Batchett, Andromeda. Coates will portray Olivia's husband, Count Dalibert, who makes disastrous choices despite having the best of intentions. Liebert will take on the role of Nina, a vampire with a colorful past involving Julius and a deadly hidden agenda. Batchett will play the father, a wild vampire who dresses in animal skins and has been hiding in an abandoned mine with the child. Executive producer and Nomadic Pictures co-star Michael Frislav said in a press release after production resumed in the summer, Kim, Ollie, and Steve are incredible talents and we are thrilled to welcome them to our Van Helsing family. If you wondered why Kelly Overton, who plays Vanessa, was absent for half of the season 4, it was because she was pregnant. This allowed other characters to step to the forefront, including Nicole Munez as Jack and Kia King as Violin, both of whom have their own ties to the Van Helsing legacy. However, fans can expect to see Vanessa in full form in season 5 5 while still allowing for the new characters to maintain their full strength. That probably means an early entry for Vanessa in Season 5, maybe even the first episode. Male lead Jonathan Scarf will not only return as Axel to help bring about an end to the vampire apocalypse, he will also return to the director's chair for 4 episodes in Van Helsing Season 5. That means that he did not die in Season 4 and that the dog probably saved him, but Julius is probably dead. How do we know that Julius is dead and not returning? Alex Ponovic, who plays Julius, has a host of movies lined up. He's just too busy to come back. He has four Four movies, a television movie, and a miniseries lined up. There are Final Invasion pre-production, Giganthropithecus pre-production, a TV miniseries Planes of Snow pre-production, Sheltering Season post-production, the TV movie Hollywood North completed, XC2 completed, and Crimson Point completed. Try and do a series like Van Helsing and 
act in all those movies. It's just not happening. Vanessa's story from here. Since Vanessa is probably the person who will either kill or neutralize Dracula, she has to play a main role in the final season. Like we said earlier, Jacob will probably free her and she will return to the human world and then it will be a showdown between her and her mother Dracula. For this to happen, Vanessa needs access to either an ability we know nothing about or to a weapon. We think that she will be accessing some powerful ability which will be made known to her in some way, probably by means of the book of Van Helsing. Whatever this ability is, it will probably be kick ass. Many people think that the series may have a dark ending, but that may not be the case. The final battle will be between good and evil and we expect Vanessa will give Dracula an epic ass kicking of some sort to either finally rid the world of her or to set up a future series. Oh yes, when she does end Dracula, she will finally get revenge for her real daughter Dylan as well. Axel's story. Axel is going to survive. He will find Vanessa at some stage during the next season and together they will help each other. Since Axel is probably saved by the Doc, it might even be that Doc has found some way to help Vanessa biologically. With Julius out of the series, we do not know who Axel will run with, but it could be that it is Vanessa from the beginning of the final season. He may even try to kill Dracula himself, which will simply complicate things more. Violet and Jack. Jack will be freed in some way early in season 5. Until then, afterwards Violet and Ivory will stick together and probably team up with Vanessa eventually. It might also be that for Vanessa to defeat Dracula, she will need the help of Van Helsing like Violet and Jack. Who knows, it might even be a case of their powers together can only defeat the Dark One, but that's unlikely. Vanessa's probably taking all the glory there. Whatever happens, we feel that Violet and Jack will make it, but not necessarily Ivory. Trisha Helfer as Dracula. Most of us were surprised when it turned out Dracula was female. What was even more surprising, I think, was that it turned out to be Trisha Helfer. Why her? Do not get me wrong. She's a great actress, but she's also attractive. Nobody expected Dracula to look like her. It might be that the showrunners saw her in the other Netflix show, Lucifer, where she played the devil's mother and realized the whole role would suit her. In her appearance in the series Battlestar Galactica, she also played a kind of a bad character. In extension, she also played a baddie. These roles suit her, and science fiction suits her even more. Anyway, her butt will be kicked by the end of the series by Vanessa. Helfer, however, already has herself set up for a new series, Step Up High Water. We know she'll be in the first episode anyway. After that is anyone's guess. What happens after season 5? There will be no season 6. Once season 5 ends, it'll be the end of Van Helsing. But as we said earlier, that does not mean there can be no spin-off series. Vampire series are those similar to them will always be around. The idea behind Van Helsing is also very intriguing, and there's been a movie with Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale back in 2004. We doubt that this is the end of the Van Helsing idea. Remember as well that the Van Helsing idea, like so many others, is based on comic books. So after five seasons, Van Helsing will come to an end. Kelly Overton, who portrayed Vanessa Van Helsing, will have to move on. And I think that most of us will love to see her in future action roles. There's nothing known about her future in Divers, but it seems unlikely that someone like her with 41 acting credits to her name will disappear soon. With that, we have come to the end of the video. Four years of Van Helsing has finally ended. We can only hope the final season is great. We'd love to see you back for our next video. Until then, stay safe.